Hello and welcome back to another sweet upload. In this video, we'll continue the muffin method series and discuss key points to making whole wheat muffins by using this simple method. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series for more easy to follow recipes using the muffin method style of mixing. After watching some of the videos in this series, you'll see that this technique is always the same no matter what the ingredients or amounts. Gaining this understanding will greatly deepen your knowledge of this method. We'll start out today with the demonstration, but stay tuned for the review of key points after the demo. Let's have a look at our ingredients. The dry ingredients are cake flour, whole wheat flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. For the wet ingredients, we have vanilla extract, molasses, eggs, milk, sugar, and butter that will be melted and cooled. We'll start today by lining our muffin tray with paper cups. This will allow for easier release and much easier cleaning of the pan. You can choose to bake without paper cups, but be sure to spray the pan with pan release spray to avoid the muffins from sticking. If using paper cups, there's no need to spray. Next, we'll combine all the wet ingredients into a bowl. We have eggs, milk, sugar, vanilla extract, molasses, And lastly, melted butter. Sift together all of the dry ingredients. We have cake flour, whole wheat flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Add the sifted dry ingredients all at once to the liquid mixture. Fold the two mixtures together just to hydrate the dry ingredients. Do not over mix, the batter will be lumpy. Portion the batter into the prepared pans, filling each cavity about two-thirds high. Evenly fill each muffin cup to ensure consistency and even baking. These are now ready for the oven. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 15 to 17 minutes. Check the muffins for doneness by performing the touch test. Gently press the muffin and if it springs back to the touch, this is a good indicator that they are fully baked. Allow to cool slightly before removing them from the pan. Enjoy the muffins warm or at room temperature. See, there was nothing difficult about that. Let's do a quick review on muffin method and its key points. Muffin method consists of three easy steps. First, whisk together all the wet ingredients. Next, sift together all the dry ingredients, and finally, fold together the two mixtures just to hydrate the dry ingredients. The batter will be lumpy. Taking these three steps to memory and having a good understanding of the key points in the following slide, you will immediately be able to identify any recipe describing this method and be able to execute it quite efficiently. Remember these key points to ensure the success of your product. Sugar can be added with the wet ingredients in Muffet Method. When mixed with wet ingredients, the sugar will partially dissolve and become liquid. Use a rubber spatula to combine wet and dry ingredients together. Using a whisk will incorporate unwanted air and cause tunneling in your final product. Finally, do not over mix. The batter should remain lumpy. Over mixing develops more gluten causing a tougher product and it also incorporates air encouraging tunneling. And there you have it, whole wheat muffins using the muffin method style of mixing. Thank you for watching everyone. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And if there's a particular product that you'd like to see made, let me know. If you found this information useful, don't forget to drop a like. 
and for more baking and pastry tutorials, be sure to subscribe to the channel. As always, be well, be safe, and I'll see you again for another sweet upload.